सो गुड इवनिंग अरीवन आई एम डॉक्टर नवीन पोरवाल एडुकेटर एट एन अकेडमी प्लस एम फिजोलॉजी एडुकेटर एट एन अकेडमी प्लस एंड दे आर सो मैनी फीचर ऑफ प्लस एन अकेडमी द फर्स्ट फीचर इज दैट दे आर लाइव लेक्चर फ्रॉम द कम्फर्ट ऑफ यूर होम नॉर्मली आई दर यू हैव टू गो टू सम कॉलेज और सम कोचिंग इंस्टीट्यूट टू अटेंड द क्लास और यू आर एंड अप विद सम रिकॉर्डेड लेक्चर्स सो इन रिकॉर्डेड लेक्चर्स दे आर सो मैनी डिस्ट्रैक्शन there are so many facebook whatsapp messages there are so many friends so it can distract you but here you will get live lecture from the comfort of your home and there are unlimited access to all the courses from all the subjects so all the courses and these study materials are available in the pdf form also there are so many batch course and each and every individual educator can talk to you if you any doubt you can message him he can include a lecture or whatever you want and there are exhaustive coverage of syllabus not only not only one for example there are some batch courses then there are extra for example there are specialist course for usmle for plab for aims pg for neat pg okay so there are dedicated courses on every subject so if you want to have in depth knowledge you can join those courses for example for last two month i have taken usmle based question of physiology so if you want you can go through that there are regular doubt clearing session and answer writing session and also live test series so there are so weekly mock tests and all those things and there are so many educator okay suppose if you don't like my teaching you can join some other educator so many educators are available for one subject in the same uh, i mean fees and as you know if you join for one year it is only 50 rupees per month or 25000 for 12 month but if you put the code that is dr navin dash yt then you will get 10% discount on that and it will be only 22500 rupees for one for one year inclusive of all taxes so coming to the aims based clinical based question let us discuss question number 1 a 34 year old women who has been immobilized with a sprained ankle for past 4 days develops a throbbing pain that has spread to her entire leg left left leg history reveals that she has been taking oral contraceptive for 15 years compared to the localized pains such as one might experience from a needle strick which of the following is true of ischemic pain so first of all tell me ischemic pain is fast pain or slow pain as you know there are two types of pain one is called as fast pain other is called as slow pain so please tell me ischemic pain or visceral pain it is a type of true pain i mean first pain or second pain so there are two types of pain we studied in detail in my batch course also in neurology course also that there are two types of pain one is called as fast pain other is called as slow pain one is called as fast pain other is called as slow pain so fast pain is also called as first pain fast pain is also called as first pain and slow pain is also called as second pain so first of all let, let me discuss these two types of pain see this pain is actually called as good pain why good pain because this is essential for your life okay this is essential for your life and this is through a pathway called as neo spino thalamic pathway and this is through paleo paleo means old paleo spino thalamic pathway okay and this is actually visceral pain this is actually visceral pain protopathic pain what call you can see and this is actually acute pain first pain or you can say fast pain okay not on this in this afferent is a delta and in this afferent is c fiber c fiber are unmyelinated 
and a delta r mildly negated now please tell me the answer of this question if you have seen question is asking about compared to the localized pain such as one might experience from a needle stick now this pain from needle stick is called as fast pain it's called as fast pain and ischemic pain is called as is please slow pain or second pain or visceral pain now which answer is correct ischemic pain sensory fibers are classified as a delta ischemic pain is produced by over stimulating somatic touch ischemic pain is transmitted to brain through neurospinal tract ischemic pain receptor quickly adapt to painful stimulus or ischemic pain terminate within the substantia gelatinosa of the spinal cord yes azim azim ahmed a okay what about others what about others what is the answer ischemic pain i have told you it is slow pain so slow pain has c fiber not a delta fiber okay the so first is wrong first is wrong it is not a delta it is c fiber point number 1 so first is false okay what about others ischemic pain is produced by over stimulating somatic touch receptor is it true or false it is false it is about acute pain okay or first pain ischemic pain is transmitted to the brain through neurospinal i have told you it is paleospinal not neurospinal ischemic pain receptor quickly adapt no they don't adapt to painful stimuli ischemic pain sensory fiber terminate within the substantia gelatinosa yes this is the most correct option this is the most correct option that visceral pain or c fiber pain terminate within substantia gelatinosa of the spinal cord suppose this is your spinal cord okay and when a delta goes inside okay it goes ascend to the two column and end up in the substantia gelatinosa then cross spinal cord and go to the thalamus go to the thalamus and from thalamus it goes to the cortex yes hello jaguti it goes to the cortex so this is actually paleo spinal tract and this landing occurs in the substantia this landing occur in the substantia gelatinosa this is a very important point the pain fiber land up in the substantia gelatinosa so this is a really very important question for this you should know pain what is pain in hindi we say one is called as dard we can see it is like a dard and this is can be a dukh it can also be psychological pain protopathic pain visceral pain suppose someone someone beat you okay instantly you have you will have a pain that is called as first pain but if someone pinch a needle on your hand you will have first pain or it is safe or fast pain but ischemic pain is not first pain it is visceral pain or you can say slow pain or second pain so in this first option was that it is a delta no it is c it is c and not through neurospinal but it is through paleospinal and last option is correct that they terminate within the substantia gelatinosa of the spinal cord okay if you want to hear it again go to the recorded session you will see now the next question next question is very easy one everyone knows that a 17 year old boy is admitted to the hospital with a traumatic brain injury sustained when he fell off his motorcycle he develops a fever of 39 degree celsius which is unrelated to an infection or inflammation the fever is because of lesion of which nucleus of hypothalamus there is lesion of which nucleus of hypothalamus which can cause fever and in this question it is ruled out there is no infection there is no inflammation so what can be the answer yes fast comment on the comment section if you want lateral hypothalamus you know it is for hunger and also thirst arcuate nucleus is the nucleus which is 
releasing so many hormones which regulate pituitary gland like GnRH, like GHRH, Okay, Himanshu, good evening. Good evening, Himanshu. In the posterior nucleus, posterior nucleus is like what? It is like heater. It is like a heater. So in winter, it will decrease your temperature or increase your temperature. It will increase your temperature. It will increase your temperature because it behaves like a heater. And if there's lesion of posterior nucleus, it can cause hypothermia, not hyperthermia. It will cause hypothermia, not hyperthermia. Paraventricular, you know that there are supraoptic nucleus and paraventricular. Supraoptic nucleus releases ADH. Okay. Anterior hypothalamus behaves like air condition. It behaves like AC. So if there is lesion of AC, it can cause what? It can cause what? Hypothermia or hypothermia? Hyperthermia. That is fever. That is fever. So in this case, fever is most likely due to lesion of which of the following answer is anterior hypothalamus. Answer is E. Yes, Irfan, true, pain tree, Himanshu. So answer is anterior hypothalamus. Now the next question. Next question. A 29 year old man is brought to emergency room after a traffic accident causing a traumatic brain injury within several hours he begins eating his objects such as paper whatever he get he start eating and he is unable to maintain attention and displays increased sexual activity he is diagnosed with Kluwer Busey syndrome a diagnostic MRI is ordered to confirm bilateral lesion of which of the following is what is the answer temporal lobe hippocampus Olfactory, hippocampus or cingulate gyrus. What is the answer? Yes, someone is saying D. Okay. B. So there are so variation in the answer. But you know, preoptic. Not preoptic. Preoptic is for sexual differentiation and sexual Okay, let me answer you. What is the answer? Yes, Himanshu. Yes, Himanshu, you are, you are correct. Temporal lobe. Which part of the temporal lobe? Which part of the temporal lobe? Yes, Rujita, you are correct. If there is lesion of the temporal lobe, it can cause Kluwer Blusey syndrome. Now, which part of the temporal lobe is affected? Which part of the temporal lobe is affected? Yes, Kennedy saying, of course, A. Okay, let me answer you. It is amygdala. Kluwer Busey syndrome is produced in animals by removal of amygdala from both temporal lobe. From both temporal lobe. If there is removal of the amygdala from both temporal lobe, then it can cause Kluwer Busey syndrome. And it is characterized by excessive sexual behavior. Okay, and a tendency to examine object orally. Whatever he get, he will keep in the mouth. Okay, the full syndrome is rarely encountered in human. Remember, but many of its characteristics are observed in the patient with bilateral temporal lesion produced by encephalitis or traumatic injury. I tell you, this is a practical. This has been done in monkeys by removing amygdala from temporal lobe. So it was practically done. So in human being, it is rarely seen. It is rarely seen, but it has been seen when there is lesion in the encephalitis or traumatic injury in temporal lobe. Okay. Next question. In which of the following sensory system does stimulation cause receptor cell to hyperpolarize? What is the answer? Vision, hearing, taste, touch or smell. What is the correct answer? What is the correct answer? Vision, hearing, yes, vision. 
वाई विजन इट इज द ओनली सेल रॉड्स एंड कॉन्स रिमेंबर रॉड्स एंड कॉन्स आर द ओनली सेल टू हाइपर पोलराइज when activated when activated if you want me to discuss it more let me clear let me clear you that rods and cones have gmp dependent sodium channel rods and cones have cyclic gmp dependent sodium channel when there is dark when there is dark they have cyclic gmp dependent sodium channel and sodium keep on coming inside sodium keep on coming inside it will cause depolarization leading to entry of calcium from voltage gated calcium channel and calcium will cause exocytosis of neurotransmitter it will cause exocytosis of neurotransmitter but what happen in light if there is light what happen during light yes anyone cis retinol got converted into cis retinol got converted into trans retinol okay there is also one question regarding this cis retinol got converted into trans retinol and it will produce what transducin it will produce what trans it will produce trans ducin it will produce trans ducin and trans ducin is actually a phospho diesterase it is actually phospho diesterase which convert which convert cyclic gmp into gmp it will convert cyclic gmp into gmp now this channel will be closed now there will be no cyclic gmp because it is converted into gmp so now this channel will be closed and no sodium influx so it will cause hyperpolarization it will cause hyperpolarization so this is the exact mechanism how rod and cones behave and it will cause decrease release of neurotransmitter it will cause decrease release of neurotransmitter which will give signal to the ganglion cell then all those cells optic nerve and all those so they are the only cell when activated they cause hyperpolarized so remember that rods and cones are the only cells which got hyperpolarized on activation is this clear okay this is a easy one one liner question nothing new in this a 22 year old man sees his ophthalmologist because it can be becoming increasing difficult to read newspaper the question is that his vision problem most likely result from inability to contract which of the following so which for the following muscle contract so that you can see near vision iris ciliary body suspensory ligament extraocular muscle or the pupil which contract so that you can read newspaper or your near vision is because of that yes irfan even manshu dhananjay deepti azim rujuta yes azim is saying ciliary okay what about others which muscle is required so that it can contract for your near vision yes what about dhananjay irfan himanshu deepti evan what is your answer daisy singh b ciliary board okay so it is very one line question so nothing new contracting the ciliary body contracting ciliary body increases refractive power of the eye for near vision so when a ciliary muscle contract 
इट पुल्स सस्पेंसरी लिगामेंट्स टूवर्ड्स द कॉर्निया विच कॉज लेंस सर्फेस टू बल्ज एंड इंक्रीजिंग इट्स रिफ्रैक्टिव पावर इंक्रीजिंग इट्स रिफ्रैक्टिव पावर सो दिस इज फॉर नियर विजन सो वन लाइन क्वेश्चन नथिंग न्यू इन दिस दिस इज ऑल्सो इज इवन सो आई शुड स्किप दैट लेट मी आस्क वन मोर क्वेश्चन द मॉर्निंग आफ्टर अ रॉक कंसर्न अ ट्वेंटी ईयर ओल्ड कॉलेज स्टूडेंट नोटिस डिफिकल्टी हियरिंग इज प्रोफेसर ड्यूरिंग लेक्चर द फिजिशियन एट द स्टूडेंट हेल्थ सेंटर सस्पेक्ट पॉसिबल डैमेज टू हिज हेयर सेल बाय द लाउड म्यूजिक नाउ डी पोलराइजेशन ऑफ द हेयर सेल्स इन कॉकलिया इज कॉस्ट प्राइमरली बाई फ्लो ऑफ विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग पोटेशियम इन टू हेयर सेल सोडियम इन टू हेयर सेल क्लोराइड आउट ऑफ द हेयर सेल कैल्शियम इन टू द हेयर सेल और पोटेशियम आउट ऑफ द हेयर सेल यस दिस इज वेरी वेल नोन पॉइंट वेन एवर यू वेन एवर हेयर सेल्स आर एक्टिवेटेड वॉट गोज इन साइड वेन दे आर एक्टिवेटेड दिज आर लिड दिज आर लिड विच विल ओपन एंड विच आई विल गो इन साइड टू कॉज डी पोलराइजेशन एंड दैट कैन एम्प्लीफाई द एंड ट्रांसमीटर यस कार्तिक ए पोटेशियम इरफान बी अजीम सी सो मेनी वेरिएशन कार्तिक ई ओके थॉट ए यू सिंग ईज पोटेशियम आउट ऑफ द सेल सो मेनी वेरिएशन इन दिस क्वेश्चन ऑल दो दिस क्वेश्चन इज वेरी इजी इफ यू नो द एग्जैक्ट मैकेनिज्म हाउ हेयर सेल वर्क हेयर सेल आर लाइक दिस वेन दे बेंट देन लिड विल ओपन एंड विच आयन इज मोर इन एंडोलिम्फ विच आयन इज मोर which will go inside not outside it will go inside the cell and cause depolarization and they will open calcium gate and calcium will cause release of neurotransmitter so which ion is important potassium into the hair cell sodium into the hair cell actually answer is yes answer is very scriptive a when a hair cell are bent This will be the B. No sodium, not sodium. Endolymph have lot of potassium. When hair cells are bent, potassium selecting channel open, and potassium flows into the cell, and cell got depolarized. So this unusual situation occur because apical cells of hair cells are bathed in endolymph, and endolymph has what? Potassium. Endolymph have lot of potassium. So these hair cells. If you see image given in your genome, these hair cells are bathed or bathed in the endolymph, and endolymph have lot of potassium. So this is exceptional question. Yes, Daisy Singh, you are right. Potassium into the cell. Okay. So please remember that when hair cells are activated, potassium will go into the cell. If you want to see, you can see my previous lecture in anatomy. I have taken detailed mechanism how hair cells are working. So this question is based on the mechanism of hair cells in your ear. So when they bend, okay, there is lot of potassium in the endolymph, and that will go inside it, and they will cause activation. So normally sodium is the answer, but this is exception. Potassium is the answer. Normally sodium causes depolarization. In this case, potassium will cause depolarization. Okay. Yes, this question I have discussed. So nothing new in this question. A 68-year-old man present with cheek complaint of night blindness. He is found to have A vitamin C A, which underlies the impairment of rod function. Now, which of the reaction in the retinal rod is caused directly by absorption of light energy? I have discussed this point that when light falls, it will convert cis retinol into trans retinol. So, answer is very much obvious. Transformation of 11 cis Retinol into all trans retinol. So it is very obvious question, and this form transducin and transducin is phospho diesterase. Transducin is phospho diesterase. Okay. Next question. Okay. Let me ask important question. These are easy one, so I should skip that. Okay. A eight-year-old boy is hit in the head by baseline drive during a little league game. His father, a doctor, rules out the field to do a neurological assessment, including use of pen light 
to check reactivity of the pupil when light strikes the eye now here the question when light strikes the eye which of the following normally increases when light strike the eye which of the following increases a b c d or e if light hit yes irfan sonu activity of gonil cyclase a1 what about others concentration of all transretinol within the photoreceptor okay okay if it is a pgi question what is your answer if need pg one answer will be correct most correct but can you see one other option which is correct yes azim what is your answer yes someone has answered it correct a and c rujuta yes the best answer is activity of transducin this is the best answer because transducin will convert cyclic gmp into gmp it is decreasing activity of guanyl cyclase not increasing guanyl cyclase is causing what gtp into cyclic gmp so this activity is decreased so e is wrong answer okay daisy singh activity of guanyl cyclase will decrease not increase so answer is a and c but if one answer the answer would have been a concentration of all transretinol within the photoreceptor this will not increase because this start activating so concentration will not increase so the best answer is a cis retinol got converted into trans retinol and it forms transducin and transducin activity will increase so the best answer is a so remember it is activity of transducin but of course it will conform cis to trans the concentration of all trans retinol within photoreceptor will not increase because it will form transducin and transducin activity will cause gmp into cyclic gmp into gmp it is a phosphodiesterase remember transducin is phosphodiesterase it inactivates cyclic gmp it is a phosphodiesterase okay is this clear okay i think time is over let me just a minute let me discuss one more slide about an academy so i told you there are live plus classes there are test series there are doubt clearing session and if you want to download it you can go to your play store or apple store and there is an academy learning app you can install it and you can have benefit of free special classes there are so many special classes which are totally free okay and if you want to join you can join it it is only 25000 per year okay and if you put the code dr navin dash yt you will get discount and it is 22500 so thank you thanks a lot everyone today only there's one more session at 10 pm for nimhans so let us meet again at 10 pm for nimhans series we will discuss the topic which is important for nimhans so thanks a lot is yes, thank you azim thank you thank you everyone